Okay, the photograph I'm holding up is where we're standing right now, and it's in the early 1950s. And it says, one says Stewart's Hobby Shop. That's this building right here. And then this one behind you says Ron's. And what you're looking at is Jinx, J-E-N-K-S, Tire Store. Now, I've driven by a couple of times. I've seen this. I, get, I just got truck tires at Les Schwab. You know, I mean, that's a tire store. I mean, they came running out, greeted me and all that kind of stuff. It was great. So I came down here on Friday and I, I got out of the truck and there was a family stand there. There's a there's a kind of a stone building behind you. Um, the Narducci Burger Place was a dry cleaners at one time. And the family that was here, he was the gentleman that owns that building was born in 1944. So he remembers coming down here as a kid so uh, Mr. Jinx was standing right here. He's working on a car. And I asked him if he was gonna be here today. He said no, but the garage door where Andre is standing uh, was open and he gave me a quick tour. So why would a tire store like this be still be in business down here in an area that doesn't get a lot of traffic? What would be the one thing, a store that was started, hang on a second, I'll get the date. Oh, you guys are too kind. That Christmas display too. Yeah, the famous Christmas display. Yeah. So here, here, let me give you the origins of the store. Uh, this was started, uh, got its origins when a 15-year-old boy in 1923 in Salt Lake City had a job repairing wooden spoke wheels. Wooden spoke wheels were not just for wagons. Early cars, that was a cheap wheel. And for those of young people, a wheel is the rim. The tire is the rubber. <laughs> You guys are chuckling, you'd be surprised how many, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, pretty soon this young man was involved in recapping. In 1952, Joe Jinx opened his own tire and recapping store in Bakersfield and moved to this location in 1958 and added the front of this building. So you see the, what was that called? Uh, T111 siding up there on top. That's an addition to the building. So the picture I showed you doesn't have that. So. As soon as he showed me what was inside the garage door, I was like, holy cow, who does this? He recaps Model A's and Model T's. He's got the, the double rim tire thing inside there. He's got the original equipment. And I was like, son of a gun. He goes, yeah, I just did one the other day. And, and it's stuff from the 20s and 30s. And I'm like, okay, Les Schwab definitely does not have this type of stuff. <laughs> so before I came down here, I went and had coffee at Dagny's and sure enough, a Model A went rolling by and it had the original wheels on it. And I'm thinking, Somebody had to come down here and use this stuff, and he did. So, anyone, uh, any ideas on what year that Ford truck is? Is that like a 61, 62? Yeah, and it, it says Jinx's tire on the side of it, and it's, it, I don't think it's rolling too well, but it's, it's still here. So, when we did the research for this area, and we're going to move across to the Sinaloa here in a second, uh, it was odd that all of this area, that was a radiator shop, uh, there was other, there was a transmission shop, Often the, the mechanical businesses got together and did one ad and they would have one ad and they'd list six or seven different companies. So the uh, up on 18th Street where the Smitten Cafe was, there was a uh, business there that just did rag tops. And it was uh, the top shop is what they called it because that was a cheap way to do cars. And when the son in Bakersfield and my daughter's car has got that Bakersfield patina to it, they would go in there and it said right on there, come in and get your car redone. So this whole area down in this area was a very blue collar, get your car fixed. And next year I'll do a tour. We'll talk about the, the iron works and the hopper works which is back over here. That This was this type of area. So now it's being gentrified in a sense, which means a neighborhood lasts 50 years and then new money needs to come in. So I mentioned it before, but I didn't walk down there. There's hall ambulance that's down there. Uh, Hall Ambulance is one of the largest ambulance companies, and my students that are seniors right now, they spent their whole life with Harvey Hall as their mayor. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, let's give him credit. I mean, besides a snazzy dancer and, or snazzy uh, dresser, I mean, how many of them saw his red Christmas suit, right? <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. But I, every time I'd call and say, hey, can the mayor come to something? He always showed up, and the kids were like, this is great. Hopefully Karen Gold will do the same thing. But my kids have memories of, planting trees with Harvey Hall. And they're like, that's pretty cool. So Hall, Hall Ambulance started in 1971 uh, with $10,000. So let's go across the street and it says somewhere on those steps, 
but I don't know where are the imprints of children's handprints. On the 20th Street side? So let's go to the 20th Street side.